Hey guys, this is Garis, and welcome back to another episode of Survival We're Done. We are back in Subnautica Below Zero, and we are at our main base. So, in the previous episode, we went exploring the something or another basin. What was that? Um, uh, let's get the notes. Glacial Basin. So, this area. And um, we thought, did behind... The fire robotics lab there is a hidden cave system there with some resources in it and i thought if we'll if we go here we will find it <clears throat> unfortunately no that's not how it works all okay. right so um i did google it trying to f see if they have a route but apparently no you must use a special tool and unfortunately it's a tool we do not have it let me just make sure Detector. Yeah, I know we don't have that that tool. I've also checked our blueprints. There is no tool like that. What's new? Oh, yeah, for one speed. Okay, so in this episode we are going to go scout for that tool, and then we are going to make the fox. Well, what was that? The snow fox. Yeah. So I've the Google thread or the Google result mentioned that we must go into oh what is this called <clears throat> seaweed what was this let's see if one it will show you kelp forest so we are in kelp forest where we are so that's kind of good so apparently we will find what we are looking for here want to swap out why do we do that out in the water apparently not oh need to click wrong button my bad hello thank you <laughs> they're so happy if you give that to them which is cool okay and we also cured the leviathan's thingy in the last episode so that's kind of cool um a garage bacteria that he is infected with okay so we need to find the caves where these guys um nests are because there's a lot of those fragments in their nests <clears throat> and i remember one of those nest area was around here or on nest cave systems and that's where we'll find the part to get to that secret stash. And I really, 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 really want to get to that secret stash. If no re other reasons, then just I want to get it. Okay, there's a nest. I don't think that will be part of it, but we can check. How did we already scan this one? Oh, bummer. What's down here? Vehicle fragment. Yeah, so um, the reason I didn't do that off cam, I was thinking of doing that off cam, but the reason is if Mr. Allen speaks to us again, we are going to miss it. So I didn't want to do that. alone let's get back to our sea truck and apparently we won't get the sea morph in this game which sucks i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but yeah that sucks and by earlier i mean in a previous episode oh man the 
see truck is too big. We might just need to leave it outside. Uh, let's just see, maybe we can find a few nests. Okay, so let me search. I can always just um, pause the recording and when Mr. Allen speaks, I can just bring you in immediately, right? That might work. Okay, so if I... <clears throat> I'll bring you in for the nests. And I'll show you where the nest is if we find a specific one that will help. Okay, so... We um, be prepared for a few jump cuts, unfortunately. But I think this will take too long if we record everything and it will get boring. Number one and number two. It's a very good video, right? Okay, there goes. We'll see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back here. <clears throat> this is the first beacon that we found, we found right here. Um, so I know there's scalp here, but I missed the PDA, it looks like. Let's listen to what it says. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> there's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Okay, interesting. So in the previous episode, we actually found that. Um, that alien in the sea cave. So very interesting. Okay, so let's continue searching these holes. Okay, I came up on one. Ah, oh, it's vehicle by fragment. Okay. So let's just grab it in any case, so that we don't have to see it again and scan it again. Ooh. Artifact could provide useful information. Processing. I can visualize a location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. The stark surface landscape. Dangerously cold. Wow. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Okay, so let's see where we are now. We are close by here. I'm exploring these caves down here. And this is where I found it. Okay, so yeah, I'm still looking for that last part though. Google said it will be in nests, but I'm hoping, holding out hope that it might be these things. So we'll see. Okay, anyway, keep on exploring. How do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know, it just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. 
but it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Okay, so just wanted to bring you in for Mr. Alien. Oh, now you actually saw how to get here easy. Okay, so we've been here. Um, these are border areas. Okay, meet you at the next spot. Okay, I think we found part one. Propulsion cannon, and that's what we're looking for. Okay, I just came down here, and where we are on a map is here. Um, so we started here, there, and now we're going here. Um, so hopefully we'll find another part soon. And that's where I got that one. Oh, no, this is where I got that one. Okay. Nothing else much here. Okay, moving on to the next cave. Oh, I already got that one. Oh well. That is quite a weird cave. Very a lot of lines you need to navigate. Anyway. Okay, I think I found the last one. Yes. Great. Let's see. What does it cost to make? So what I'll do now is I'll go to my base. Um, we'll craft this quickly. Battery and titanium. Easy peasy. And um, get the resources for a snow fox. It's a bike and it hovers. Magnetite, battery, lubricant, which we actually found in a previous episode. And then we also need to make that dock for it. Snow fox hover pad. Recharges and repairs snow fox, snow fox hover bike. There we go. Okay, so wiring and titanium. And then we'll probably need to thermal plant, convert heat to energy. Let's place one of these guys. So let me get, gather all resources so that we can set up a base for us. I don't really know if we need to set up a base. Uh, where are we? Okay, but in any case, I'm, I have to go to back to base to get resources in any case. So I'll meet you back once we're there. Or no, I might as well just get you guys at the dock, the, f uh, the fire robotics dock. Um, I'll gather a resource and I'll meet you there. Okay. Let's go. Let's see if we can fix this. Okay. So first of all, let's get out and then I have absolutely no idea how we're going to, how do how we build the f snow fox. Do we need to build a hover pad? How do we build a... might be that we just actually need to build it in the deployables Let's see. I don't even jump module is there where do you build it maybe at the vehicle bay I think I have all the resources for it oh did we already make the 
propulsion cannon, yes, so we can actually remove that. And there's a station, climb. Hmm. Okay, might be that we actually need the... The dock, the... what do you call it? It's a vent, here's a vent, so we can actually build it here. If we do need power, then we can just build that. Or we can just maybe just put a solar panel on it. It can also work. Alright. Yes. Okay, so we have to construct it here. Good to know. <laughs> Interesting machine. And, and I don't know if you notice, I already have the jump module that we discovered in the previous port. Don't know how high it will jump, but we'll see now. <laughs> okay. How does it turn? Ooh, I do not like this. Okay, so where do we put the upgrade modules? I have absolutely no idea how this works. Oof. Okay, space doesn't do anything. <laughs> do we upgrade this stupid thing? Maybe we should dock it first. Let's go to that control panel. Maybe it's over here. Oh yeah, here it is. The <sighs> let's do that. Okay, so we can't do that. How do we install this? Vehicle upgrade, but that's only a Coloring scheme. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, let me try to figure this out and then I'll bring you back because we're just wasting time now. Okay, um, I'm guessing this might be it, but I don't think we can... Okay, there it is. Pick up. Can you pick this thing up? Ah, oh, that's cool. Yes, now we can get access to that. Only one slot. Good to know. Oh, uh, that's not nice. <laughs> I thought the module activated on its own. In time it was vent. Okay, 
Yeah, this thing's turning radius is terrible. Oh wow, it's quite quick. Well, you can actually jump over crossings. But to be honest, I'm not too fond of this. Okay, so it has lights as well. Okay. No. Back up, please, please. Hmm, cool. But this thing is better. Okay, so let's go see that secret room. Fire robotics. Find all the things. And then in the next episode we will go over there and see if we can find anything there. Hurt. I don't get this. Speaking of which, we can remove these things. Okay, I have no idea how this works actually. It's doing something when we move. Okay, so your right mouse button and your right mouse button again, it looks like. Excuse me, so let's see this. Hey, you can actually pick it up. It's like a gravity gun in Half-Life. Weird. Okay, but this is going to pick up this. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. This is cool. Oh yeah, there is no other way in. Okay, good to know. Magnetite, magnetite. Here we go. Let's see, there's a lot of things here. Fiber mesh. Water tablets. Ciao. Health. Battery. And a battery flare. Oh, that's boring. Ah, at least we got two batteries and a few fiber meshes. That's basically the only thing worth it. This is cool. Anything else we can pick up? I don't think there is. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, cool. Okay, let me uh, wrap this up and I'll meet you there by the snow's foxes. The over bike thingy. Yeah, not a bad haul in general. Um, what can we drop? Never dropped those creature eggs. Should have dropped that. It's like an energy power cell. Maybe if we might need it. Um, while exploring. I'll take that. 
and we will use a call suit okay so let's call it an episode i'll bring you back in the next episode then we will go see if we can find the artifact location so as i said um it looks close right here we'll see if we can get there we'll see but i'm thinking we'll need to go around here to find it because it's not underwater of course it's high up if you look here you can already see it's high up so um let's call it an episode thank you for joining me guys hope you enjoyed this episode hope you enjoyed the uh, snow fox building um it's really exciting but we at least we got to that secret room so that's awesome so thank you for joining me once again if you did enjoy this episode please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one cheers